Okay. The area behind the skeleton, I'm going to create as a background so that the rib cage stands out. So I'm going to make that kind of an intermediate gray. Now, I have individual ribs and a breastbone, and I'd like to get a little bit of those into my drawing. Right. So I'm going to start to look a bit at a few of the ribs. Let's start off with the breastbone. Right. Right. And I'm going to look at a set of ribs that comes out here. This is a front. So in between those ribs, we have some background shape. Right. And also over here. So I'm going to make the background shape this sort of intermediate middle gray. Right. So that means that I'll draw it in here and I'll lighten or erase this area here so I can have the same intermediate gray. Let's put in the space above this. And this leaves a rib here for us, right? So we have the rib coming out of the breastbone and then when it gets over here, it's in shadow. So we're gonna come in and make this area a little bit darker. You can put in another space here, here, and put the spaces in over here. And then I can start to shape them a little bit as with my eraser. I want all of them to see bright because they're on the front. The light is strong where it strikes them. And then over here, I'm going to make sure that the ribs have some shadow on them. So now the rest of the drawing of the rib cage, I think, would involve taking this basic concept and starting to fine tune it to get the details to be more um, exact, to look more like what I see. For example, the ribs aren't truly straight, they curve through space, so I may need to come in and make the curves in my drawing. This rib, for example, looks a bit more like this. So I'll need to put in the rib and I'll need to Clarify the space on either side of the rib. There's the bottom edge of that rib. Here's the 
top edge of the rib. And then over here, where it turns through space, I may want to work with the shadow a little bit more, get some of the curves going, make sure the background is differentiated. The top of the rib, once I get over here, actually has a little bit of light on it. And the ribs actually curve around. So if I wanted to really spend the time, I could go ahead and draw the back of the rib cage. And so what happens as the ribs curve around and connect to the spine, I also might want to look at what happens when the rib comes and joins the breastbone. It fits into the side of the breastbone, so I need to make sure we can see the side and the front, which might mean putting a little bit of shadow on the side of the breastbone. Okay. There's a place where the side of the rib and the front of the rib join each other, and I might want to look at the what happens with light and shadow there as well. Make sure I have a little bit of detail in that area. So I think, I hope that shows you that you could then refine this so that it looks more like what you actually see when you look at the skeleton. But I think the important point is that we started off noticing that one side is bright, it's facing the light, the other side is in shadow, just like the box. Here's an edge where we change from light on the left side to the shadow on the right. And we have a bit more light on the top, a little bit less on the sides. 